Hello and welcome to Hearts of Iron Thor. I am Wyatt Wall. We're playing as the United Kingdom here, Great Britain, as the title screen should show. Um, we're playing in my Airwing Rebalance mod here. So if you didn't know what that is, it just make sure that your Airwings are a bit more manageable levels. You can field them in a lot more places as we are doing as the allies. You can control your logistics and your fuel supplies a lot more. So say if I wanted more aircraft out here, when the time comes, I'm not building up a field of 100 out here and having them detrimental in another area, say I wanted in the Caribbean. So that's what it does. It also affects the air volunteers if you're playing as Germany. You can send the respective amount of air volunteers to nationalist Spain during the Spanish Civil War. And it just means that your control over your whole air supply situation is a lot more friendlier to you. If you're all, um, a megalomaniac, a bit like me, and you like just targeting everywhere with bombers, well, this is right up your street or air corridor anyway so uh, what are we doing uh, well we're having a quick look to see what we've got going on so we are progressing are we <laughs> i don't know let's have a look so where are we uh, talking of air where are we in the air situation we have got 1940 have we improved our bombers if you've been watching the videos then you will know more than me at this point so yes we've got improved aircraft we are using them the only one that we haven't done then is just that we need to do something about that uh hello we have got we have got a few trade issues that we need to sort out okay and that's with Okay, that is slight problem. Well, let's give the Dutch East Indies some more. And we're not going to go to Vichy France. Who can provide us? It's the United States, of course. Do that. And I think we need some more fuel. Okay, yeah. Uh, so there's no exports getting through at the moment. Why is that? I don't know. Right, we'll improve those. Have we done... We've got no industry going on there at all at the moment, have we? So let's have a look at what's going on. So we can improve that. We have got that going on. Right. Um, I think there is an element that we can actually do within the officer corps. I'm sure I saw... See, that will help. No, it's going to be on this one, in it? It's going to be on this one. I've seen one to do with logistics, and I don't think it was actually called logistics. Maybe it's called... Maybe it's on somewhere else. Well, I am seeing things. I honestly thought it was here on the army one. At supply combat penalties. So that one is one that I've mentioned before. Well, I 
stand corrected. I've seen something that just doesn't exist. I'm sure I saw one of these where it was... an element to give you better logistics within the area. And you know, I can't see it now. A little life of me. Anyway. So we've got that going on. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? I have no idea. Um, There's nobody here that's going to give me better logistics, so... Okay, we will deal with that and the rest of the issues throughout this episode. Uh, right, so what is going on? So we set up a naval invasion in the last episode to get into here. Um, we have still got the, well, primarily German troops on that particular line. How are Italy looking? They have got 69% legitimacy of abilities so they are currently 72% towards capitulation yeah okay we need to push that button really um the old scoreboard they've got less fuel hardly any convoys still got a fleet how is Germany looking they have got yep they've got ships so they can ruin my day quite easy they are going down in convoys that is a lot less than what it was all right you rock we've got troops we've got troops training up we're just on tank brigades at the moment um i think i was trying to use my points that is only 0.38 that relief of command is actually giving us so i need to alter we want more French troops we want more Polish troops we've hit Belgium for another division and that's been provided to us so we need to hit those units and make them a bit more respectable um, we can do that So this is going to cost me less in my special forces allowance but I still need to add things to this uh, trade should sort itself out we need some heavy fighters out in the far east though so, only because they've got legs Technically speaking, I know what you're saying, it's an undercarriage, but I'm I'm talking of range, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, that will do, I think, for now. Right, Navy. We'll replace that one. Get you repaired. Okay, that is our escorts actually working out here. Some of them defending, some of them attacking. That's my close air... no, that's my naval support for this going on. So, what about these troops that are here then? They are getting minimal supplies. It is pittance though to what it should be. I think we could hit them from both sides. I think we should hit them from both sides. Now, it's this guy that we're waiting. He's going to get that support from there. Oh, he's got organizer coming on as well. Did I change those two out? No, I, sh I should have done really, shouldn't I? But this guy, he's going to be dealing with this attack on this side. So uh, he's got organizer going on as well. Fair enough. You're still on the guerrilla fighter, okay? 
Uh, I think that's King Kong's job these days. Uh, can we affect that? Not like that. So they've got enemy air supremacy. So we'll have that. Decent and desist. They're getting air support. But we're getting air support as well. I think the amount of troops that's actually there, we should be able to just eat into them gradually. We've got... Right, okay, that support on this side is being affected because they're chasing that fleet. They've hit two... And the, the, is that their pride of the fleet? It is disengaging. Okay, get it, lads. Get it. Kill it. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything with these yet until we need to manoeuvre there. Need to remove this if we can, though. Oh, wow, did we get it? We got it. Okay. That's their Pride of the Fleet gone again. How many Pride of the Fleet have they had? I think it's been every one. <laughs> I've never been in that position in Hearts of Iron. I'm not really a Navy player, but I do like to use my ships out there. Right, we are repairing at the moment. So, we've got an extra factory. Ooh, scout planes. Is it scout planes? Well, closer to sport, really. To be fair, to be sure. Let's do that. And let's do that. We've got dockyards coming. Okay. This is my strategic bombing campaign that's going on at the moment. Air defense and reliability. Or. No, that is just. That's maritime. Um, that's sub detection and surface detection. It's pretty poor with strategic bombers, but uh, I think that probably would be the best thing to do. Although. Oh, that's just for transport planes. So what's down here? What do we want to get to? Well, both of those are nice, actually. Oh, and you need them if you take these, it looks like. Oh, although maybe not that. Okay. We tell you what, we'll give them more strap bombing and then we'll go for the range, I think. You want some Furies? You can have them. They are seriously old aircraft, though. I warn you now. Okay, what have we got? We've got German troop convoys out there still. If they want to move them from there, that's fine. They can go by sea. That's not us attacking. How is Greece doing? Uh, yeah, less. So they're going to leave that and they're going to get pocketed. Really? Those two areas are essential. Can we do anything about that? I could, I could do a Churchill here and just Ready. put... Do you really want them a different colour though? So we'll have I don't know. Yeah, that'll do. Right, who's got pretty good defence? Wow, but he's only a level one. Okay, I really my general count. Uh so maybe William got no, Richard O'Connor. Okay. Yes, you, sir. Retreat. If I have you go that way, then you'll retreat that way. See what you can do. Oh, they can move troops up here. Okay. I don't think we're going to be able to affect them. Them there, though. No, there's still too many of them.
No, they're not getting any naval support from that side. Greece, just give it a break. I've said just two or three times every single episode. No. W what, apart from the first episode, maybe. Strat bombing and air supremacy. Uh, well, at the moment, I think air supremacy would really be helpful for over Italy. So we couldn't see this coming into the game, but we can see this now. So that's not what I want. It's that that I want. OK, so it's 350 versus 1460. So in the year that we've been there, <laughs> we haven't been there a year that Okay, that's our total figures. I don't know whether you can actually see that or not. So, our fighters lost 431. There's 588. Okay, some down to AA. Uh, but yeah, our bombers lost versus their bombers. Our support planes, we've actually lost more support planes than they have. Uh, they've lost enemy transports in the area. Our bombers have been disrupted. Theirs have not. Our bo our troops have been bombed a hell of a lot more than those guys. So if we hadn't got, it's not what I want. If we hadn't got air to um, air to air, no anti air on our troops, then well we would have been in dire straits. Okay, let's. I really want to release these guys first. Right, while we're having a look, okay, what? who's doing what? So this is two divisions that are going to land there. Okay, we'll wait for them to actually do that mission. And we'll use that as a diversionary attack for us to do that. In the meantime, let's see whether we can actually get this down here. It's not looking good, because it's... Yeah, it's encumbrant on that. I could Go use on. those, I suppose, to attack into there. Give them a break. Right, tanks are attacking me, so... Oh, hello, there's now... Really? Okay, that is our equivalent of weapons of mass destruction happening for us. So, what can we do about... Um, I've just mentioned the big Obama, haven't I? And I've just mentioned this, that I ought to do these. Okay, we're okay on the fuel again now. I think that's because my fleet was actually out there, but... Oh, I don't really want to do that, but I'm going to do that. Yeah, we still have got a problem with that. Malaya, what else can you give me? The eight? Thank you. Yes, keep on buying those old aircraft because that's going to help me do my configuration of factories. Japan demands French Indochina. Okay, this is... What? It's already gone. Okay. Actually, all you do... You just need to go there on that. Get rid of that. Who are you? What are you? Um, yeah, exactly. What are you? Your regular. Uh, they might be able to do something. That's a pretty strange combination, but that's the best that they can come up with. Basically, it's five infantry plus engineers and anti-tank against the Japanese. Really? Okay, I'm not sure about the AI's decision processes there, but 
Uh, yeah, let's have you on here. Yes, sir. Can we get a commander, uh, another commander, because I've nicked one out here, so... Somebody that's got... I think let's bring Wavel up to speed. Just give him an organizational. I can pick another, really. I didn't realize, I thought well, there's only one available to start off with you, with you or division commanders like that, but uh, apparently not. Okay. Um. Right. Don't necessarily need you on there to do your job. Yes, sir. Let's have that on there instead. Because we'll get the field marshal bonuses then. Um, so, yeah, we've got a border there that we need to protect. Hopefully India will actually see that. In the meantime, what's going on here? Anti-tank... or production efficiency. We've got them now going out to our troops, so we could do that. That reminds me. So we've got the Mark IV. Okay, let's increase those. Take those down. I aim to get about 90 to 100 out all the time. Oh, we're already selling the Matildas? Okay. Let's get some of them out. I do wish the kind of block would just stop interrupting your view. We don't need to do that. Don't necessarily need to do that either, but we could do that. No, let's wait until we actually get on there. Oh, we are using factories on there as well. Are they moving back? They are clearing out there. It's fine, catch them there. Benito Mussolini is deposed. Okay, this is what we were looking for. So this is where it's all going to go. Really? They have stole my thunder. The Borgiese have stole my thunder. Well, we'll wait until the forces actually come back and deal with those. Because, yeah, don't do that AI. 
Is anybody going over there to try and sort that out? No, Portugal could actually just steal the show here. To be fair, there's only three divisions there, so... Uh, what the heck? This is another reason why I get annoyed with Hearts of Mine sometimes. Is that, yeah, you should not do that. There was only one line there. It was theirs, and they decided to bugger off there. Yes, sir. Gotta watch it. You Go have it. really gotta watch it. Right, squeeze that pimple. Well, we did get three tree convoys there. Okay, that's fair enough. How are we doing on the... It's still high, so... What we need to do is have a look at the battle with Germans. So, let's have a look. We've got the intel advantage at the moment, so we'll, we'll sit on that. Uh, has the Portugal situation may have affected the air war something definitely has it's made sure that the aircraft actually move further out how up to those haven't gone over there have they they may have gone over there. So let's bring you guys back to here because you're more effective doing that. Right, not sure why I actually kept you on there, but. Right there on there. We'll see how long Greece can last. So they've got that territory, which means I've lost factories. Didn't even get asked about that. Uh, we should get asked about this, though. So I need to just reprioritize probably everything at the bottom. Uh... No! Okay, we're okay at the moment. Right, okay, now we're going to keep the territory. It's We're using those resources. You can get over there. Yeah, sorry Portugal, but I want that territory back for me. I don't care whether there's enemy troops there or not at this stage. That is your playground, you go play over there. Right, we're okay on those. So. We've got that on the go. Let's get that going. Wow, I didn't realise it would take that long. <laughs> no, Greece. The only investment I'm going to give you is if you buy the stuff off me. Okay, let's come out a bit. So we could sanction Japan, because that would be historical. because it then puts them in a position. China's actually... That helps us, to be fair, because that means that that is now not basing those Japanese troops on that side, so... 
scared. Did my Greek troops get over there? They did. Okay, so that should stop any kind of incursion there, and we can escape that way if it comes to it. Okay. Control the Aegean if you can. Get your motor torpedo boats. Oh, do you know, I would really love some littoral craft in this. Like amphibious support vessels and all that kind of jazz. That would be awesome. Let them have it! Sorry. Okay, um... Right. Let's improve that. How are we doing with the rail? Okay, we need to connect things up a bit here. My engineers won't mind that. They're British engineers at the end of the day. They see not so good. Okay. And they have still got true convoys out there, so yeah, carry on. I think it was about nine hundred thousand that we actually affected them. So we've gone over a million now with the German Reich. Where's the new Italy? Because I'm sure, yeah, I figured it is actually transfer over. It's 1.2 million with them. Mm. Ouch. That's still ouch. But that is spread out. It's primarily Romania that's taken the hit there. Or Romania. Okay, we have got troops out here, so. I need to get you guys out where? To him at the moment. Seven days is a bit more like it. Thank you very much. Yep, keep on attacking those convoys. That's British convoys or Norwegian convoys, so no, don't attack my convoys. Oh, yes. yes uh, right, Ready. okay, let's move you to the right field then. You can start training. Wow, okay, that's an interesting combination from the AI. Or infantry, or motorized infantry. They've got armored recon, light armored recon, I should say. Maintenance company, logistics, and engineers. That is a mixed bag. Okay. I can work with it though. Right, you guys are ready to roll. So, I'm looking at Japanese encounters out here. Let's have. Radar and an airfield out there. Did I put... I have put that out there. Can I have the rail yard go... Because I don't know where, the, where my airfield is going to end up at this stage. So they can do that. That way we can project into the Celeb Sea and South China Sea a bit more effectively. We have got that, but how long that actually lasts. So, uh, can I position you out here? I can. We'll have you doing that as a job. Right, there's... They're following through. Okay, where are they moving through to then? Still nothing over Blighty. And we're still keeping their fighters interested in these areas. Right, they've come back. Damn it. 
So in recent days, right, we've lost more fighters. But they've lost more support. Okay. Yeah, it's not so good out there. But, yeah, look at those kind of total figures. Right, okay. They are doing their job there, though. They are rotating. So, 161, 161. I forgot about these. I forgot. Right, we want a few of them. Introduce rocket artillery. So uh, let's knock that back a bit. What am I doing? that that I wanted to do. Red markers everywhere but then that is because we're doing stuff. We actually we're okay. Support equipment. Yeah that's those two being affected there. We're still carrying on there. We've got some troops that have taken a break. You can actually see my carrier there. Right, they're piling through now. Are they going to start stacking here? Let's give them something to think about. That is now complete. So. You guys need to get up there. I need to plan a naval invasion that side, I think. We have got three ports there. These aren't the best of troops to actually do this with, though. Not that. Just that, please. They are still on the way. Right, you'll be transferred to... Him now. Yes, sir. So we use the rivers here if we can, but this is pretty good if you can actually hold the territory. But I need a bigger group to actually do it. So I might hold off on that until we've actually got more troops or until the Americans are in it. All the Germans are busy doing something else. We don't know yet though. How are we doing on the Intel side? We have got Intel but not the best. Right, it has eased off down here so... 
Let's get you working so you can increase the agency value. No. Yes. Can't do any more there, can we? So what I really need then is military factories. should keep me afloat. Oh, we're okay on that. We're on export focus at the moment. Um, if I do that, I'm going to reduce the amount of intelligence I actually give away but it's not army intelligence or air intelligence right we have landed and considering they were in the area they're now not in the area don't all move around They're still on the way, so I will allow them to do that. You get up there. You go over there. Oh, that's unreal that that territory actually goes back to here. Right, we're still defending it. We're fine on... We're still getting support, aren't we? Not at the moment, not from my ship, so... gonna move move out that way some say we were inspired by the Portuguese Get on there. Right, everybody on there that should be on there. Yes, they just need to maneuver now. But yes, sir. I'm wondering if I could actually land his troops there. Maybe. them up to speed. Attention. And them. They're the only ones that I can actually improve. Ready. So... Ready. 
ready. Uh, right, let's get these guys in theatre somewhere. There. Right, these guys reacting. Are they moving back? I think they. Some of them are. Uh, have we seen this before? We have received a message delivered under the most secrecy from German protector of Denmark. Hmm, okay. They are quietly seeking allies that can support their claim to independence when the day comes. And they seek to regain their sovereignty from the German Reich. Do you want to take sides in this conflict? We'll do that. Okay. Okay, that'd be Germans. So if you do that. Remove that airfield, please. Right, you have got reinforcements on the way. Yes, you can have those. Alright, we have got defences being settled there. Right, I want to know when he can move now. That's the last of the radar stations. That's a bit too far ahead. We're still waiting for that. Uh, we've still got 170 days left on that. Uh, we could do that though. Um, anything that's actually going to affect uh, troops, that will. Let's give them a bonus. Really? Have we not taken this territory? Son of a... Shouldn't be allowed that. That's my territory. I can't build here. Oh, I can. Okay. It's, when has that been allowed? Okay. I've done this before and not been allowed to build in their territory. So I I get a bit peeved off with when that happens. Um, they're out of my control at the moment, so I'm not going to do that. Right, what level are those four, those bases? A four and a ten. We should be okay. As long as they are connected. They are... And they... Actually, if we do... That... Really? That'll do. Let's give him some trucks. I think he should have them already, but apparently he hasn't. He has, hasn't he? Yep, yeah, that's fine. Move those around because that makes more sense. Okay, he's got crooks. You want my famous Matildas? You can have some. Okay. Yeah, come on, Dempsey. Tell me you can go.
Well, that is America in the war. 24th of July. So we have the day of infamy. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941. Yeah, we're on historical. Which will live in infamy. That should not happen. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked Ready, by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The United States was at peace with that nation and at solicitation of Japan, still in conversation with its government and its emperor, looking toward the maintenance of peace in the Pacific. Indeed, one hour after Japanese air squadrons had commenced bombing in the American island of Oahu, the Japanese ambassador to the United States and his colleague delivered to our Secretary of State a formal reply to a recent American message. While this reply stated that it seemed useless to continue the existing diplomatic negotiations, it contained no threat or hint of war or of armed attack. It will be recorded that the distance of Hawaii from Japan makes it obvious that the attack was deliberately planned many days or even weeks ago. During the intervening time, the Japanese government has deliberately sought to deceive the United States by false statements and expressions of hope for continued peace. The attack yesterday on the Hawaiian Islands has caused severe damage to American naval and military forces. I regret to tell you that very many American lives have been lost. In addition, American ships have been reported torpedoed on the high seas between San Francisco and Honolulu. Yesterday, the Japanese government also launched an attack against Malaya. Last night, Japanese forces attacked Hong Kong. Last night, Japanese forces attacked Guam. Last night, Japanese forces attacked the Philippine Islands. Last night, the Japanese attacked Wake Island. And this morning, the Japanese attacked Midway Island. Japan has therefore undertaken a surprise offensive extending throughout the Pacific area. The fact of yesterday and today speak for themselves. The people of the United States have already formed their opinions and well understand the implications to the very life and safety of our nation. As Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Navy, I have directed that all measures be taken for our defense, but always will our whole nation remember the character of the onslaught against us. how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through 
The only problem I have with the speeches on here, there's a background track of music to it and that music was too loud. I, I want to hear the speech. I don't want to hear the music. Put music on a different or lower track, please. Honestly. All in. Right, you're actually there, so you can join him and he can have some support for that is he ready to go not quite okay yeah the day of infamy where that speech actually says the 7th of december and we have the day of infamy in july of 41 and yeah i'm only keeping an eye on things out here i'm pushing out submarines out to here so that with a bigger base so they can actually protect this area Although we've got submarines working in here, I want to protect this area of Australia if I can. Uh, just in case there are any troop convoys, freight convoys come from the Japanese that way. So, right, let's see. We come up on time on the episode here, but let's see whether we can actually do a successful naval invasion on this side and then just have these two meet up. Um, they're yours. It's still not enough for what I want to do in the area. Uh, so, I need to look at... We've got more... Ba -dum -bum. Yeah, we moved that out, didn't we? So, let's change you out. I uh, will give you... Artillery and you can have a anti-air anti-tank and signal company that is an expensive division that i should be able to just change that out to one of mine because it's that template is already done yes it uses their troops but okay this is going to be interesting where they Oh, right, so they can appear there. Good. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, no, that's not ours. Okay. Uh, how many troops have they got? Da -da -da. We could do a few of those divisions, I think. They still need to... So, if we ask for... Three of those divisions... Um, yeah, we need to hit, f yeah, we need to hit France now, free France, get some of those, so, oh, that's the only one that we've actually got, okay, um, right, no, let's not do that, remove, 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 because I can just afford to do. That. We'll add infantry to that. I can do. Oh, no, it's only that. Ready? Oh, but I can do it that way. That's fine. I like my template a certain way. Okay. Right, are you ready yet? Not quite. Nearly. Five days. Okay. Hold your horses. Okay, they're holding that ground there. Good. Nothing going on there. I thought Rishi France had actually got something going on with Syria, but... Well, apparently not. Okay. Troops are moving ground. Ready, sir. Um, what was I doing with these troops? I don't know, but they're now joining him. Let's 
So they're going to sit on that territory now and just eat up supply. It is their territory. Yes, I know, I know. I don't know, to be honest. Right, uh, yeah, I was, I was in here. I should have been doing this as well. Let's ask for a steady amount. We've got tanks coming out, so let's ask for another army group. Uh, give me 21. That'll be a steady army group coming out. And then we can think about Normandy then. Uh, so it is August. Oh, right, they are doing it. Okay. I was about to say, what on earth are they doing? Seeing as Liebenstrahm was all about that. Right, it's only those troops there. See whether we can land these. Oh, hello, we got. I did mention that area, but yep, they're being eaten alive there. Right, let that tank division have it. You grab local supply on those two areas. Oh, hello, we've got South Africa. Okay. No, it's not South Africa, that's ours. What's going on there then? That, that said South Africa. Oh, it must have been that South African troop. Don't ask me, I don't play this game on a regular basis. Right, let's use our troops to move through. Honestly. <laughs> Tank division's scooting out of there. Oh, I'm not having any of that. Uh, yeah, I'd like to actually get those there, but... still on the way they shouldn't be right we'll wait until they settle down before trying to put them back onto an order right this is it this we're affecting all everybody's supply in the area now no grease do you need to go there? You need to go there. I did probably tell them to do that, but let's not have that going on. It's gonna move out, move there. Uh, tell you what, we'll move the South Africans into there and we'll head up to there, take that airfield out and connect the two fronts. And they've got two ports, maybe, on their side? Maybe. Right, what about you two? Have the both sides from the South African side and do, do, do. 
Is that too much for them to actually take on there? Ready. They could definitely do that. If I move you down move here. Need to get some reinforcements out to those guys. Don't really want to see the, any more Raj troops out here. I want to see them over here. Although, to be fair, the Chinese have done a pretty good job of actually clearing up Indochina there. And they have had naval invasions going on. They're still moving. Okay. It'll be the next episode by the time they actually get there. How are we doing? We've gone over on time. So, Greece still exists. Yeah, we've got the region of south. Region of the south? I don't think that would be in Italian. I don't know. I don't know Italian. Uh, we're going to try... Oh, seriously, it's gone on that side as well. It should all be coming back to us. Never mind about all this nonsense. I can't ask for that territory either. Um, mm, I don't know. They're not on there, are they? Because they're not an exiled. Are they on here? No, after the game is finished, we'll release nations. But not at this stage because all they'll do is join the axis because that's what the computer does okay i think that's where we'll leave it we've got a potential war with the usr happening with germany so yeah we'll see how things play out with that it's all still to play for in the mediterranean at the moment though so future sales can sort all that nonsense out Join me if you can for that. We've got a war with Japan to look forward to in the next episode. And we are... No, it's only German convoys. I was going to say we are going to start tackling their situation. They've got plenty at the moment. We will tackle that with all the other problems as the Allies. That's the comment though. Like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to. And I'll see you next time in Hearts of Iron or No Man's Sky. See you later. Bye.